Hey you guys, Jesse here. So, so many people are asking me why I'm on a cleanse, right? So, if you know me, you know my past. Um, I've always struggled with my nutrition. Fitness has never been my struggle. It's always been my focus. And, or I'm sorry, fitness has been my focus. Nutrition has always been my struggle. Um, and I've always been able to just wake up and be motivated to work out um, because I love fitness. I love the way it makes me feel. Um, nutrition, I love food. So yeah, and I love unhealthy food like sugar. Um, I'm totally real. And so as much as I've worked on making small changes and progressing in that area, I also have highs and lows just like everybody else. And what I was finding was that I was having more lows than highs, and um, I was having more sugar than not. Um, nothing like I used to years ago, um, but it was starting to creep back in. And I was noticing that I was getting low on energy with different hormone things that I had going on. I was f feeling more sluggish, more tired, more irritable. Um, I'm sure some of you ladies can relate to that. Um, but it was just, I felt like I had more lows than highs. And so, like I shared with you before, it really took me a lot to make this decision this time for some reason. And I think it was number one, the commitment the commitment to change in my nutrition because I love food. Um, I didn't want to feel deprived. I went three years of feeling what I call deprived and being limited on what I ate because I had so many digestion problems. They were trying to diagnose and figure out what was going on. And so um, I had to be, uh, one time I was on a corn-free, gluten-free, bean-free, sugar-free, and dairy-free diet. And um, I've said this before, but I always looked at it in a positive light and how I could have fun with it. For me, I'm motivated by fun. If you don't know me, if you can't tell, uh, yeah, it's kind of hard. Um, I have to have fun with it. I have to be creative and find recipes. I remember one time for Thanksgiving, I spent $72 on a cheesecake um, to make ingredients that was made out of cashews. And one slice was taken out of it, and that was mine. And I took one bite, and I was disgusted. It was absolutely gross, and it had taken me so much time to make, and it cost me $72. And I let other people taste it, and they agreed that it was nasty. Um, Anyway, long story short, I've slipped back into adding more sugar into my life. And um, with different hormone issues and different things, I needed to gain that control back. And as much as I did not want to be restricted from different things, I knew I needed to. I knew I needed to make a change. And I feel like change is not going to happen until you get up at a place of desperation. Um, when you get to a point that you are either super motivated or you're super desperate to make a change. And um, I wouldn't necessarily say I was super desperate, but I was very motivated to change because I was tired of the way I felt. I knew that something needed to change. I knew that I was really good at following a plan. I was really good at following structure. Um, 21 Day Fix has taught me portion control. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with some cheat meals every once in a while. I do good with moderation, but... I fell off. I'm normal. I fell off the wagon. And um, so I am on day 15. I'm just starting my third week. And um, you guys, I felt amazing in week one. You know, everybody's body needs something different. And what this is doing is it's detoxing and cleansing every organ, tissue, and cell in my body. And um, I'm not looking at it for weight loss. I am going into this wanting to retrain my brain to focus on my nutrition. I want my nutrition to be number one, and that is what I'm always going to work towards, um, is to get my nutrition number one, because my kids lead by my example. My husband eats whatever I put in front of him, and he wants to eat better, and I want our kids to be fueled by good food and um, live healthy lives and have good energy, and it starts with myself needing to make those changes. Um, so, uh, what I did realize is I'm not a girl that um, fuels off of grains, legumes, and um, fruit only. I will just put that out there. I need meat. For sure, I need meat. Week number one in this has always been the best for me. 
um, week number one, I did lose over five pounds. And um, this week, I actually had an off day. You know, if you read my posts, you saw that I had an off day on Saturday. Um, not an off all day, just, you know, a meal, family barbecue. And I was totally okay with that. I was kind of in just a frumpy kind of um, mood and I needed, I was okay with it. That's all I'm gonna say. Like I gave myself that okay um, because I was feeling so good. The cleanse is already doing what I wanted and I need to finish it out, right? I have one more full week to go and I feel incredible. I'm less bloated. Um, I know TMI, like you wanna shut this off if you don't wanna hear anymore, but um, I have a gassier tummy. I'm just gonna put that out there. Um, and I don't have that right now. I feel great and so my body is really responding well. Um, I, I struggle with IBS intermittently off and on. Shakeology has really, really helped me with that. Um, but depending on my diet, I struggle with that too. So um, I have had no problems in that area. I feel amazing. I'm alert. I'm energized. I'm cleaning the house late at night for Pete's sake. I'm waking up in the morning cleaning the house. Um, and, and I'm motivated, I feel great. And that is why I'm doing this cleanse, is to really refocus my, my um, mindset on my nutrition, to get that to be my main focus, and um, to really fuel my body properly and effectively, um, and lead by that example for my family. So um, this week I lost, I think, only 0.2 pounds. Like I said, I'm not in this for the weight loss. The only reason I'm weighing myself is to share with you um, that form of measurement. For me, that's not um, that's not the big deal. Um, I go off the way I feel, and I feel like I'm on cloud nine. Just um, feel amazing. I feel energized. I feel focused. I feel good, and um, that is what a cleanse is supposed to be like. And um, I I watch different challengers struggle with the the form of um, measuring themselves on this scale and um, you know having these highs and lows these peaks and valleys and we all go through this and I think something that I recognize is that yes I don't have a lot of weight to lose um, but I have energy to gain and I have a life to live and so do you and your value is not determined by that number on this scale and your value is determined in your heart and where you put your focus is where you're gonna put your energy. And yes, I'm always smiling. Yes, I'm always happy, but yes, I have bad days. And um, I have days where I just, I don't wanna talk a lot, surprisingly. Um, and so I really find that we need to find our purpose and we need to figure out why we wanna do something so then we stick to it. And when you have an off day like I did on Saturday, you don't beat yourself up over it. You move on, you keep going, and you stay consistent to finish out the plan because you know at the end you're going to be much further ahead than if you hadn't finished, right? So I know that one off meal is not going to hold me back from having great success at the end of the 21 days. So point of my journey and of sharing this is why I'm cleansing and what the purpose of cleansing is, is to help you refocus. And um, it's not for everybody. I can say that not everybody's gonna be interested. But I can say, think about your priorities in your life. Think about how you feel each and every day. And you have control to change that. You do. You have control to change that, whether it is adding in a 10 minute morning ritual of scripture or some sort of personal development audio on YouTube or a book, um, whether it's getting up and just stretching in the morning, whether it's getting up and going for a walk or doing a workout program. You have control of the way you feel and um, you have that choice to change. So take advantage of that. You know, take control of yourself, of your life, and just improve yourself each and every day. I'm a big person on reflection, reflecting um, how I was yesterday and how I could be better today. Every single morning, that's part of my morning ritual. So keep in mind, you have the choice to make changes in your life, and you can do this. So if you guys have any questions, I'm an open book. Post questions below, private message me. I'm here to help you. I'm an open book. I have nothing to hold back. I have no secrets. Um, don't hesitate to reach out and have a beautiful day. The sun is shining. 
Rudy's taking a nap, so I got to get to work. This is my business time. You guys have an awesome day.